find an equation for the end behavior of the function. And we have a few functions here. They're all rational functions. The first one is f of x equals 3x plus 4 over negative x squared plus x minus 2. To think about the end behavior, we think about what happens as x grows very large, as x approaches or grows without bound, or as x approaches negative infinity, or x, as x goes to the left without bound. So there's a couple of things to memorize, if you will, or, or just think about what's happening. With this first one, we have the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. That's the, the greatest exponent that you see on either the numerator and the denominator. When the degree in the numerator is less than the degree in the denominator, think about what happens if we plug in a very large number, f of infinity. I know infinity is not a number, but uh, bear with me for a minute. That's 3 times infinity plus 4, but really 4 doesn't matter too much compared to infinity, over negative, or the opposite of, infinity squared. And then plus infinity minus 2 and so on. But really this this other stuff next to um, infinity and infinity squared the rest of the stuff doesn't matter very much when you get sufficiently large. So 3 times infinity over infinity squared. Well the bottom the denominator is grow is going to grow much much faster than the numerator so this is going to go toward 0 eventually right because we're going to have something divided by something really really big so i'm going to say y equals 0 that's going to be the equation when the degree in the numerator is greater than the degree in the denominator and you could write the horizontal asymptote, if you will, of what's going to happen there. The, um, and just to think about this a little bit more, if you have positive infinity, or that is if you're going to the right forever, uh, it is going to come in, let's see, you have, it's the opposite of x squared. So you're going to have a positive divided by a negative, and that's going to be a negative. So it's going to come in like this, get very close to that x-axis, we don't know what happens in the middle. I mean, we could plot points and, and figure out what happens in the middle, but for now, we're just concerned about the end behavior. And in the left, if you have negative infinity, plug in here, you have negative infinity divided by neg uh, something even larger negative, and that's negative divided by a negative is a positive. So that's going to come in and be positive, but, but still, in either case, left or right, we're going to get very close to zero. That's the end behavior. What happens in the middle, uh, we're, we're not concerned with on, on this particular problem. Okay, the next one. 4x to the third plus 2x minus 1 over 2x to the third plus x squared. When the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, that is if the greatest exponents in the numerator and the denominator are the same, then you can think about if we plugged in infinity, and I should say just a really big number because infinity is not a number, you would have 4 times infinity to the third over 2 times infinity to the third, and those would cancel. So you'd have 4 over 2. So what you're left with is y equals 2. That is the equation that uh, considers the end behavior of the function, y equals 2. And I'll write that asymptote. This asymptote, again, is, is what it gets very close to, very close to. So I'll just write a line out there. It's, it's never going to be exactly 2 because you do have this other stuff, but it'll be very close to that. Okay, the third one. Let's talk about f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 4 over x minus 3. In this case, we can, that is, in this case, when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, uh, then we're going to have what's called an oblique asymptote. 
We know that if you plug in a big number, it's going to be huge divided by uh, something slightly smaller huge. So it's going to be the opposite of this y equals 0. It's going to, it's going to tend towards infinity or negative infinity um, as x gets very, very big. But it's going to trace a line in this case when this degree is just one degree, uh, just one greater than the degree of the denominator. So let's see what happens. You can divide this. You can say x minus 3 is being divided into x squared plus 3x plus 4. And that is what a fraction means, is division. So dividing this real quick, x goes into x squared x times. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And you subtract that. What I like to do when I... Uh, subtract is just change the signs because that, that's just distributing a negative sign um, throughout all of this and or a, a negative one times all of this and then just add straight down and I get 6x and then bring the 4 down plus 4 what would I multiply by x to get 6x that is 6 so 6 times 3 6 times x is 6x 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, and I'm going to do this again, change the signs, add, we get 22, and that's plus 22 over the divisor, over the uh, denominator. So we get x plus 6 plus 22 over x minus 3. When x is very small, somewhere in the middle of this graph, this fraction, this rational expression, does matter. But as x grows very big, this is 22 divided by a huge number. So this tends to 0. A lot of times in math it's written like this, goes to 0. So now we have y equals x plus 6. That is your function. That, that's your equation that models the end behavior. So something is going to go on in the middle here, but in the end, we have x plus 6. So I'm just going to graph this. I'll use red. I'm going to, let's see, 2, 4, 6. I've got the y-intercept. And again, this is not part of the graph. This dashed line is just what the, the graph tends toward as x grows very, very large. So very, very large it'll tend towards this this line. In the middle here, it's going to do some other stuff. But as x goes out to infinity and negative infinity, it'll tend towards this line of x plus 6. All right, so there's a few examples of n behaviors of functions.